The smartphone gimbal that is sitting right next to me is a DIY one and it can help me take some really smooth footage. So if you are interested to build one for yourself using commonly available hardware, then have a look at this video. This DIY manual mobile gimbal works on the principle of inertial force that is produced by the dead weight hanging just beneath the central rod that is later going to serve as our smartphone holder. This allows us to stabilize both X and Y axis and thus we can get some extra smooth footage out of our smartphone which otherwise is almost impossible to get. The structure of this gimbal is made out of PVC pipes ranging from half inch up to 3 inch in diameter. The central shaft is going to be cut down up to 14 inch in length out of half inch PVC pipe. This will later going to hold the dead weight and the smartphone holder as well. Next, I have to cut down 1 inch wide strips out of 2 and 3 inch PVC pipes using a hacksaw blade. Later, I have sanded the edges to make sure all the pieces have uniform width. The corresponding strips were then glued together to increase the ball thickness which will later going to help us to mount the ball bearings accurately. For both X and Y axis, I am going to use a pair of ball bearings measuring 5mm at the inner side while 16mm on the outer side. For that, I have drilled a pair of 16mm holes on either sides of both 2 and 3 inch PVC strips using a step drill. The ball bearings were then inserted inside each of these holes using a plier. Now to get all the parts together, I have drilled a 5mm hole across the half inch PVC pipe that we have cut down earlier. It's important to get this hole to one end of the pipe as close as possible because this will allow the weight to have a more moment arm to stabilize the whole platform. The central shaft is then attached to the 2 inch PVC strip using a pair of nut bolts that goes across the ball bearing into the central shaft. This allows the central shaft to freely hang on one axis. Similarly, to stabilize the other axis, the 3 inch PVC strip is then attached to the 2 inch strip using the same technique. This allows the central shaft to float freely in the center irrespective of the position of the outer PVC strip. To hold this gimbal, we obviously need a handle that is going to be made out of half inch PVC pipe. The handle is cut up to 6 inch in length with a slight angle at one end which will help us to hold the gimbal more conveniently. The handle is glued to the outer 3 inch PVC strip. Later, the outer strip is cut down from the front side as this part of the strip is definitely not needed. Now to make everything look neat, I painted the whole gimbal using matte black spray paint. The gimbal looks great after the paint job has been done. For the dead weights, I am going to use a bunch of old ball bearings similar to the ones that are used in our car engines. They have a good weight to them and they seems to provide a good stability to the whole gimbal. Now to mount the smartphone, I have glued a 1 8 inch bolt along with a washer at the top of the central shaft. The smartphone holder is then mounted at the top of this screw. With that being done, we are ready to get some butter smooth footage out of our smartphone camera. 
So guys, if you like this video, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Moreover, have a look at some of our other project videos as well. And if you are new here, then consider subscribing by clicking on the link just given over here. Thank you very much for watching this video and we'll soon come up with another one.